The Centers for Disease Control announced on Friday that two people have died and 28 more people have been hospitalized in a salmonella outbreak in cantaloupes across 32 states. The Food and Drug Administration advises consumers, businesses, and restaurants to check the cantaloupes they have to see if they've been recalled. If someone has a recalled cantaloupe, or if they're unsure if the cantaloupe they have has been recalled, they're advised to throw it away or return it and sanitize any surfaces that may be contaminated. Minnesota has the largest number of sickened people, with 13 of 99 cases reported nationwide, according to the CDC data. The most recently reported illnesses occurred on November 10th, though the agency notes that illnesses can take three to four weeks before it can be determined if it's a part of an outbreak. CT Dallas LLC recalled packages of their Freshness Guaranteed and Racetrack brands of fresh cut fruit packages on Wednesday. Sophia Produce LLC, which operates under the name True Fresh, recalled all sizes of fresh cantaloupe with a label that says Mal Chalita on November 15th. The recalled cantaloupes were sold between October 16th through 23rd. National grocer Aldi has also announced a recall on cantaloupe, cut cantaloupe, and pineapple spears in clamshell packaging with a Best Buy date of between October 27th through 31st. Last week, Vineyard Fruit and Vegetable Company initiated a voluntary recall of all fresh cut cantaloupe products. The recall includes a dozen fresh cut products containing cantaloupes distributed in Oklahoma from October 30th through November 10th. Salmonella is a bacteria that can cause serious and sometimes fatal infections in young children, frail or elderly people, and others with weakened immune systems. According to the FDA, the signs of salmonella poisoning include bloody diarrhea or diarrhea that lasts more than three days without improving, diarrhea and fever over 102 degrees Fahrenheit, excessive vomiting, especially if it prevents you from keeping fluids down. Signs of dehydration, including dry mouth and dry throat, infrequent peeing, and feeling dizzy when standing up, as well as stomach cramps. These symptoms most commonly occur between six hours and six days after exposure. Though most people recover within four to seven days, those with a weakened immune system, including children younger than five and adults over 65, may experience more severe symptoms that require medical treatment or hospitalization. For Headlines with a Voice, this has been the Lockhart News Brief.